Aloha, y'all. Welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today, I have a thrift haul for you. And yeah, I see five people already here. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let me know if the video quality looks okay. It looks a little weird on my end. This is actually only our second live haul on YouTube. We have been doing it, you know, on Facebook Live and things like that. But I thought, you know, we're getting bigger on YouTube. I wanted to start doing it on this platform. So, um, hi, Heidi. Thanks for joining me. Also, I didn't know if I could flip the camera around. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try that real quick while some more people get live. Let's see. Does it let me? <gasps> it does let me. Okay. <laughs> hi, everybody. Um, I'm about to show you a thrift haul, basically things that I have got um, at Goodwill, St. Vincent's. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and uh, even an estate sale a while ago. And yeah, I've just been collecting things and I want to show you a lot of things that have a high ROI or return on investment and uh, also some quirky items that we love. So yeah, I guess I'll get started. So let me turn this thing around. Cool. I didn't think I could do that because on Facebook Live, you can't do that. Um, let's get started over here. This is actually an item that was purchased no, not purchased. I mean, I got it before for free from this place um, for teachers. And I sold it like a year ago for a high amount. I believe it was $75. And I recently went to a baby shower at work. And this was one of my prizes because I won it. Hi, Andrew. Hey, Marianne. Um, yeah, so I got this for free because I won it. And this is going for $75. So I just wanted to start that off because you never know where you're going to find your items. That just happened to be such a random prize that I won at work. Um, this I got at St. Vincent's. And at first I was blown away. I'm like, are you kidding me? Versace. And then I saw for h and m Hey, mom, son, thrifting fun. Bo. Good to see you guys. Um, this is from H&M. It's so silky and nice. It reminds me of Lisa Frank. Thank you guys for joining me. Yay, that's so exciting to have an audience <laughs> live. Um, so yeah, at first I was blown away because I only got this for $2, but it actually only goes between like 18 and 22 but still a great find for $2. And that's like the sweet spot, buying something for $1 or $2 and selling for, you know, over 20 but let's get to something that I bought yesterday. Now, the box is toe up. The box is just, I'm probably, we're going to photograph it out of the box, but I'm toying around with the idea of in another picture keeping the box to show that it's new in packages. No, I'm not going to do that. Never mind. On live air, I just decided, no, I'm not going to show this busted box. <laughs> but we talk about Yankee Candle selling a lot. And this, I had never heard of. It's a fresh burst. This was $0.95 cents at Thrift Giant, and it can, all of them are, are listed for $20 and up. So for less than a dollar, you can't beat that. So just wanted to show that because, yeah, I, if this didn't have the box, I would not have known that was for Yankee Candle. Um, apparently, you put, like, the smell good stuff, or as my grandpa says, stink pretty stuff in there. It's like oils or something. Anyways, um, yesterday I picked up this Longa Burger tie-on. I did not even know these existed. Um, basically, it's like a charm for your Longa Burger basket. And it is ceramic. Trim your basket with this lovely accessory. Uh, we actually don't have a lot of Easter items in our store. So this is a little cheap thing we can put in there. We think it can go for about... 10 to 15, but I got it for 69 cents. So yeah, now that I know these are a thing, I would think it would be better to find like a lot of them and put them together for different holidays. So I think that's pretty cool. Now I know they exist and, you know, Longa Burger is a brand to look out for. And a lot of thrift stores will put their brasket, <laughs> braskets, like brisket. A lot of them will put their baskets from Longa Burger way high to where there's not a lot of resale value. Um, but I have 
we have sold Longa Burger bowls and plates for a really high amount for what it was, and also these like coasters. So yeah, anytime it says Longa Burger, look it up. Um, these are just a few random estate sale things because I was unloading the estate sale box. A tasty little treat. Where dog parents of three dogs, so I had to show these. These are not to resell, they're just cute. We kind of collect Hallmark ornaments. Uh, captivating Cockatoo. Uh, some of these birds do go for a lot, but I think this one does not. And since I'm a music teacher, this is the metronome playing mouse. He's gonna go on our mouse tree. So anyways, it is very gloomy here in Texas, and I thought this would be a perfect day to do a thrift haul. Um, oh, can't forget this little mouse. How cute is he or she? I don't know. We have a mouse tree and yeah, we didn't go full out with Christmas this year, but um, next year or this Christmas, we hope to actually put up all of our trees and stuff. Hey, Nelly. Yes, we have a little mouse tree. We, we usually do like a big Christmas tree and then we do a tiki tree and we have one that has mice ornaments just because I think they're cute. And there was something else, but we like to theme our Christmas trees a little bit. Um, this was from the estate sale Matthew got. It is a California raisin. Now, it looks really, really dusty. That's because it is. Y'all, this is the reality. Sometimes things are dusty. But anyways, I think it's a little bit faded, too. I actually don't remember if Matthew washed this or not. But it's one of those window stick-ons, and I thought it was cute. And look at those heels, mama. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't really know how much that goes for. Probably about 10 We might keep it, though, because she's so sassy. Um, this I got at a thrift store a few days ago for a dollar. I uh, hate when they write all over it, but that'll come off. Not Maybe this Sharpie will, but I don't know. But this is new in the bag. We have sold a lot of peanuts, flags, garden flags, I mean. Um, this can go for about $20, believe it or not. It is a known brand called Life is a Breeze. So, yeah, look out for peanuts garden flags because I'm telling you, we have sold quite a few, and we get them very cheap. Hey, Jenny, good to see you. Wow, I have 10 people uh, watching. Thank you guys for tuning in on this beautiful Saturday. Oh, that's cool, Nellie. You collect California Raisin? Really? She says the lady in the shoes is desirable. I'm going to have to do more research on that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, estate sales are the best. I haven't gone to one in a while. Matthew will sometimes sneak without me when, at work, when I'm at work. And yeah, I really want to go to estate sales. <laughs> If I went to more estate sales, I'd probably has, have less inventory that needed to be listed because I tend to get way less. Oh, Jenny, that's funny that you said that. We have sold a Mother's Day Mary Inglebright garden flag and a Father's Day one as well. So, yes, I agree. Um, that's what I just love doing these live streams. Uh, people share with me what sells well for them. I'm sure I'm going to have a few questions that other people are going to answer. And we love sharing tips and tricks and things to flip um, on our channel. So check out our other thrift hauls. Um, this was $0.95 cents Vintage Fibercraft. I've seen these before. They're actually not worth that much, y'all. On eBay, they tend to sell in lots of like four to six. For like $10 to $12, we think we're going to put this in our antique booth and more info on that coming um, because we want to expand our antique booth. We think that'll push more inventory. It's been kind of slow. Um, but anyway, she comes with beautiful little hands, and we think we can put that for about $8 to $12 in our antique booth for $0.95. Cents. This, I was like, oh, it's tiki, but it's actually fish bait. <laughs> Wave worms. It's a little visor. It says tiki bait, tiki bit. Um, yeah, it actually sold for $15 recently, and this was a dollar because it was half off at Thrift Giant. So, you know, it pays to look things up because I was going to skip it when I realized it wasn't actually tiki. Uh, speaking of tiki, this was actually $209 because I get a teacher discount of 40% when I go on Mondays to St. Vincent's. But this is just like a hand-carved little tiki, and I don't know how much it can go for. 
It kind of runs the gamut. I think, you know, if it was a known artist, but there's no signature that I can see, but we might end up keeping it. I think it looks pretty cool. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. Um, here's some more estate sale items. These I thought were adorable. I'm like, Matthew, you have to go get those. And they were actually 75% off, so they were like, oh, Lord. They were less than $5. <laughs> My brain did not want to do the math in that moment. Um, ooh, 1966. I forgot that there is a brand. I just can't read it, unless those are Roman numerals. Eh, either way, they look Swedish to me. I don't know, kind of like Ikea. I don't know why I get that vibe. They remind me of the... Mexican chonchitos, the little uh, ceramic pigs that bring good luck. But I just think they're so cute, little hedgehogs. And yeah, just wanted to share that. I also got something else for me. I like kooky items like this. Something's fishy. This is a puzzle, y'all. Uh, packed in pure fun. Keep cool. And this was actually the thing I wanted the most. Um, I think it actually was $4 either. The, no, it was 75% off, so it must have been a dollar. And it is by Hasbro. These only go for about $12. Um, I don't want to open it yet, but they're actually these, like, little plastic fish pieces. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. Now, this is one of my favorite albums. I love Gaga and Tony Bennett, their first album, Cheek to Cheek. Matthew got it, I believe, for a dollar, sealed, it should, you know, it should go for at least $12. So I thought that was cool. And I actually haven't checked out her newest record with Tony Bennett, just the single so far. So I need to get on to that. What am I waiting for? <laughs> um, this I bought for us. So I like to share those things too, because this was actually a great deal. Don't forget to thrift for yourself. I feel like that's how we all get started, uh, buying things for ourselves. And then we're like, oh, this is too much. I can sell some of this. Uh, this is an OXO, and it's actually usually really expensive. I got it for half off for $1.50, and that's a steal because this is like a $20 measuring cup, believe it or not, and it's a four cup. So, yeah, hope y'all are doing good. And let's move on to this section. Y'all, I went to Thrift Giant yesterday. I was so, so happy Take a look at this, Bonami. At first, I'm like, that sounds really familiar. And then I looked it up and I couldn't find it, you know, just in my brief research at the thrift store. So I went on my merry way and decided not to get it because, you know, it's a pewter. I thought it was a pewter tray and it's by Wilton. But then I, hey, Anne, thank you for joining me. Of course. I love that y'all are tuning in. That, that means a lot to me. Um, yeah, so I left it alone because I didn't really think it was worth much. But then I go over to where the jewelry was, and I found this little spoon, and I am obsessed. It is that vintage, oh, come on, focus. It's that vintage cleanser Bonami hasn't scratched yet with the little duck. And I found out this is from the Franklin Mint, and they did a bunch of advertising spoons, and that's very much up my alley. And so I was like, oh my gosh, now I know that it probably goes with this because it's the same brand. Turns out these are um, soap dishes and it came with Bonami soap, I think. Now these were $2 each and I was, I was dreading it because a lot of times thrift stores won't sell things to you if there's no price, but she said 95 cents and I'm like, God bless you, my child. Thank you so much. But yeah, I'm obsessed with these. Now, there's only one listed, and I feel like they're lowballing it. They put it for $10, uh, but that came with the soap. I really think it could go for a little bit more, but I might keep one of them and list the other. I'll let y'all know how it does. Hey, Tina. Yes, Jenny, old school. In fact, I love collecting old advertising ephemera, and I this is on my fridge right now, and I'm like... Ugh. No wonder, what am I trying to say? Um, <laughs> no wonder I knew what Bonami was because I had it on my fridge. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry I spent a long time on that item. It was just, it was just a fun find for things that I like to collect. Um, here are some plush. We love selling plush, and I'm going to show you several that are worth a lot of money. Uh, this was less than a dollar. Um, 
It's Funko, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Uh, Bon Amy. <laughs> Mom, that's funny. Um, or maybe that's not how you pronounced it. Maybe I pronounced it wrong. Um, this is Mr. Rogers. It's Funko. It, it can actually go for about $18 for this little plush. I kind of want to keep it, but that's good profit. And for less than a dollar, I believe it was $0.97. Cents. Um, yeah, great find. Now, this we got for our dogs. It was actually $1.49 because that's 40% off. Stay hydrated, y'all. Look at this. Instead of Topo Chico, Topo Chihuahua. So cute. My boys would tear that up instantly, but then they'd carry it around the yard in the house forever. So the shell of it, we like to call it the carcass because they tear it all up. I know that's kind of gross. They tear it all up, get all the stuffing out, of course, their dogs, and then they carry around the carcass forever. Uh, I got this. I don't even remember where, but it was recently. And we like to buy these little crocheted people uh, because for the same reason, the dogs love these. They love to carry these around. And the hand stitching actually holds up way better. And it just becomes a fun toy for them. Uh, let's continue with the plush. I think I got this at St. Vincent's as well. Probably for $2. Because they tend to price the bigger plush at $2 instead of $0.95. Cents. Uh, this is actually Ikea. And... Yeah, always look at Ikea plush. Some are good, and some are just pretty common. But yeah, this one, I believe we can get about 20 bucks. Um, I know, that's just crazy for Ikea plush. And always keep the tags on. They always have big tags, so you can tell what they are. So yeah, and of course they have a Swedish name, and you put that in the title, and that really helps people find it. Because turtle plush are so common. In fact, when I was, I, I thrifted that a few weeks ago, so I had to redo my research, and I was like, uh, there's turtle plushes everywhere. And so I found one with its Swedish name, looked that up, and then boom, a lot of them sh showed up. So, so yeah. Um, oops, I think I missed some comments. Um, well, oh, there we go. I act like I'm new at this. Uh, I love Mr. Rogers, too. I still need to see that documentary with Tom Hanks and uh, Waldo. Oh, <gasps> what if this is Waldo? Except that hair. But it's very reminiscent of Waldo, yes. <laughs> um, this, um, obviously, is a known brand. Many people know about Wedgwood. I did not know about these ornaments. There are lots of different heart ornaments for $2.99, this should go for about $25 bucks on the high end. It, could, it will probably end up going for about $20 plus shipping. Now, it is Jasperware. You know, Wedgwood has this thing called Jasperware. But I actually like the look of this better. It's, it kind of feels like bisque. It's very rough, but very elegant. And, yep, going to put that up. And I know Valentine's Day is over, but it could be a pretty little Christmas one, too, since it's red and white, or is that pink? I don't know. I'm colorblind. Y'all tell me. Um, here is another estate sale find. This is just silly. Um, I said, Matthew, you need to get that just because I liked this. Okay, how silly is that? Can you buy it? But he said it was, it belonged to the cork board, so he had to buy the cork board, but it was very cheap. I just love Ziggy. I've just got to stop putting things off. Amen. Starting first thing tomorrow. Matthew had an idea that we would actually cover this in some kind of fabric. As much as I love Ziggy, it looks kind of worn, and use it in our antique booth to pin up some of our stickers. No, that's not true. He said he was going to display some of our enamel pins on it, and I thought that was a great idea because we're not huge enamel pin collectors, but we do like them. It's a very dangerous thing to collect, just like Funkos, because they're all pretty expensive, and yeah. Um... Oh, yeah, I agree, uh, Jenny. It does remind me very wedding-like, especially the box. That's a nice box. I like the blue Jasper wear as well. Um, I don't care for the green one, but the blue one is so classic. Um, I got this, I swear, a couple months ago, and I don't think I ever showed it. I love getting Laurel Birch stuff, and this was about $4. I do check the women's purses sometimes 
just to see if anything stands out to me. And that's how you really learn by going out of your comfort zone into sections that you've never been. This was disappointing. It only goes for about 20 to 30 but at $4, I think that's a great flip. And maybe we can price it on the four, the um, the more expensive side. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think y'all get it. <laughs> y'all, I was scrambling at the last minute to get this live stream together, this haul. Because right at the last minute, I had a frame over here. And I knocked it over and glass went everywhere. And I didn't want my dogs or me to step in it. So I had to get the vacuum and get all these little pieces of glass off. I mean, off the floor. So like, that's why, I don't know, I feel I feel rushed. So thank y'all for bearing with me. But yes, I like this bag too. I think it's cute. The colors are very, very 90s. I don't know. It reminds me of the 90s for some reason. Very colorful. And I love the little beads, beaded accents. And here's the tag. Very noticeable Laurel Birch. So yeah, a lot of Laurel Birch things go for a lot of money. We've sold coffee mugs and I forget, other things. <laughs> Laurel Birch, she's a good lady. All right, I had to get this out of the dryer, so it might still be a little wrinkly. But this is a brand to look out for. Now, I have never been into kids' items until about a year or a year and a half ago, Matthew when we got into plush, he started getting loveys like crazy. And we've shown a lot of, look at me just petting the blanket. It's so soft. It's kind of minky. Okay, focus, Aaron. We, <laughs> we have gotten a lot of loveys because they're sometimes in the plush aisle and we share those on our thrift videos a lot. This is a brand to look out for. We have recently sold a small blue little giraffe lovey for over $20 um, plus shipping. And this is a larger blanket. It kind of looks like mauve, maybe. I just love the word mauve. Anyways, I'm still petting the blanket. <laughs> this was only $1.49, y'all, and it can go for about $30. I've seen them in a little bit better condition go for more than that. And of course, that's kind of mid-range. It could sell for 20 but that's still a great profit. Um, it's in used condition. There's no huge rips or any stains. If there, if there was a stain, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. So yeah, look out for Little Giraffe. Yes, I know. Um, don't let the boys get it. In fact, that would be a great um, dog bed liner. Super soft. Oh, yes, and Laurel Birch does make jewelry. Thank you. Yes, she definitely does have a lot of jewelry out there. And that's another thing I've been wanting to get into, uh, more jewelry. This is, okay, what's the brand? Ubuli. Wait, oh, duh, it's upside down. <laughs> Ubuli. And I don't regret getting it, but uh, it, it was like 97 cents. You put like your iPhone in it. It's like a stuffed animal that's also, I need to do more research. It's like a learning game. But for that price, I think it can go for about 15 to 18. I saw one new in the box go for 24. So yeah, I like to if it's cheap, I like to gamble on it because I can always give it to my students as prizes. I always give a lot of plush as prizes. Not only do they like it, but it makes me feel good and with the bulk that we used to buy these huge plush tubs and it would make all the stuffed animals very cheap. So yeah, We'll have to see how that sells. It could sit for a while. Uh, this was also at the estate sale. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love anthropomorphic items. Weep no more, my onion. These are very popular. They remind me of my grandmother. She has um, done a lot of needlepoint things for us, including something like this, but no, it was different. But yeah, this would be a great antique booth item, but I think I want to keep it because I think it's just so precious. Um, jewelry intimidates me. me. Me too, Tina. Me too, especially since I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I really do feel out of my comfort zone. And, you know, there's so many things you can do. And, you know, Texas Gal Treasures had a, has a lot of great information. And Becky Dick on the thrifting board in Secret Beach, she talks about jewelry all the time, and Nadine. All of, we have a lot of friends that really talk highly about jewelry, but 
Um, yeah, there's a lot of like testing that can go along with it. And I just have no idea where to start. We have purchased some uh, grab bags, not grab bags, but those bulk jewelry bags. And Matthew likes going through those from time to time. Sorry, I just got off on a tangent. Let's go to a tanuki. And I mean, look at that. Need I say more? No, I'm just kidding. This is from Benihana, of course. And Matthew got it at the estate sale for me because, well, we didn't think I had this one, but I have a different version of it. Uh, there's different versions of these Benihana mugs. I believe it was only $3, three or four, but yeah, it's going in my little Benihana collection. This I got yesterday. It is, it looks handmade to me, one of the soldered glass pieces, and it twirls. Okay, I shouldn't hold it like that because I already had a bad experience with glass today, but that was only $2.49. It was regular price because St. Patrick's Day is coming off, and that's one of the things that I don't decorate for, really, is St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's. Um, it just happens so quickly, and I think I think I'm like done with decorating after Halloween and Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. I think it's beautiful and I might keep it, but yeah, I need to look it up. I think it could go for about 15 or so. And at 250, I thought that was a great price. I like how it spins and it feels like really good build quality. Oh, Andrew, what did you say? Oh, you don't think you have that? Okay, maybe I can give you for Christmas, wink, wink, the other one. <laughs> this one looks older to me. The other one I have is that really, really white and almost newer. This one looks a little more vintage. Uh, next is something I got at St. Vincent's, I believe. Yep. And it was $3 because it was 40% off. And this is a brand I talk about all the time, Vietri. It is Italian pottery, and it is one of those hanging display plates, Pinot Grigio. Love me some Pinot Grigio. Um, oh, yeah, Jenny, that would make a nice statement jewelry piece. It's pretty big, but you know what? Someone could rock this. Imagine that as an earring. I think it would go, I think we might put it above a door. Because, you know, it doesn't have to be St. Patrick's Day. It could be just Irish Irish blessings. Um, yeah, this is a great brand to look out for. We have sold platters and plates uh, many times. I mean, the bigger the better, and we've sold Christmas ones, but this is kind of generic wine-looking one. We think we could probably get about 20 to 30 on it. I actually couldn't find this particular one, which is sometimes a good thing. Woo! 28 minutes already. It always flies by. Sorry, I don't mean to yap so much. If y'all have any questions, let me know. I need to take a sip of this coffee. I've been talking too much. Mm. All right. I love this uh, coffee that I get from HEB in Texas. It's called Taste of San Antonio. It has notes of like chocolate and cinnamon and vanilla, and it's just so good, y'all. Uh, let's go to another Bolo brand that we pick up a lot. And I got this from St. Vincent's for $1.49. It's Jay Dubin. And they're based out of Fort Worth. It is this very thin, well-made pottery. And they mainly do display plaques like this. The hearts are pretty common. I'm confident we can get between 15 and 18 plus shipping for this. So that's already a great profit. And I just pick them up right away if they're a decent price. So if you see them, I would get them, especially big ones like this. I bet this could go between 25 and 30 just because it's larger. And I know Noah's Ark things go for a little bit more. People love Noah's Ark and Nativity. Um, it does remind me, it, it, it is very Swedish. I can see that, Jenny. Um, it, it reminds me of those, um, what are they called? Oh, Bing and Grondal plates. Um, let me know if you, those, um, your Dubin haven't sold, Andrew? Hmm. I'll have to take a look at that listing, Andrew. You know, ours, maybe they're at a lull. You never know. I could be, you know, spouting off 
you know, fake information. No, the reason why I say that is because every time we pick it up, it does sell. I think we have two in our store that have sat, but it's one of those things with art and decor. You just got to wait till the right person comes. I still say get it if you can get it for a really cheap price, like $1.49, and this one was... This was $1.49 too. That's a steal. Um, so yeah, Andrew, I'm sorry yours have sat there. Um, yeah, maybe the price needs to be lowered a little bit. Who knows? Um, this, is, this was $3. I almost didn't get it. It is a touristy tiki mug. I just liked the mermaid. Matthew and I have been into mermaids lately. And it's actually from a Houston place called Aquarium. So yeah, for $3, I wanted this in my personal collection, and I love this color. Matthew and I are really into teal and turquoise, and I just think it, she's pretty, probably. Anyways, I know that's blasphemy. Don't use tiki mugs as vases. Well, this one looks like a vase to me, and it was cheap. Anyways, I digress. Who wants a brass banana? Look at this. This is from Ikea, and... Yeah, it was $3. I got it yesterday at St. Vincent's, and it's pretty heavy. It's actually not bronze. It's called bronze color, and yeah, it's ceramic, and I think it can go for about $18 to $22. That's kind of like the sweet spot. There's only one listed, so yeah, I'm kind of happy with it. I almost want to keep it. Um, let me show y'all this. Do I have any Star Wars fans here? This, this was folded up like this, new in the package, and it was $2. And I'm like, well, that's interesting. What is it? I didn't even know it was a pillow cover. Hey, Swoop, thanks for joining us. I see you in the chat of Thrifty Business all the time. I feel honored that all of y'all are watching today. Uh, this is Boba Fett. <laughs> I was not expecting that, and I love... The Book of Boba Fett, I love Star Wars, Mandalorian, all of the things, and it's a pillowcase for two bucks. It feels burlap-like, but it's not. It's just that kind of, you know, rough material. But I could only find one of them on eBay, and they didn't even list it as Boba Fett. They listed it as Jango Fett, but I'm almost positive that's Boba Fett, not Jango Fett. And, like, why does he have a suit? If any of y'all are watching after the fact, leave me a comment if you know anything about this. Maybe it's just like a hipster, funny, quirky thing. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, that's cool. Um, I think that would go well on Pop Shop. Uh, Matthew and I have taken a little break from Pop Shop Live since the beginning of the year, but maybe we'll get more into it. It's just Matthew was doing two shows every single week, sometimes three shows a week. And you know, we got to... I don't know. Sometimes you got to take a break to make things fresh again. Um, so yeah, I loved that pillowcase. Uh, let's go to some mugs. I love sourcing mugs. That's one of the first things we started really selling a lot of. Um, that's a good idea. Oh, Tina, I actually did. Good tip though. Tina says use Google Lens. We actually did, and that's how I was able to find the one that was listed on eBay. But unfortunately, it just showed a bunch of other Boba Fett stuff. So who knows? Who knows? I'm interested to do a little more digging. Uh, but it's a cool item. Ooh, this stick is getting heavy. This, okay, back to mugs. This, I absolutely love. It was $209. And I've seen stuff like this many times with the Studio Pottery, like, faces. And this one actually doesn't have a brand. So if any of you guys know the brand, let me know. Or if you're watching after the fact, uh, leave a comment. Ooh, Jenny says, I sold lots of mugs this winter and just wrapped a teacup and saucer. That went for 45 That's awesome, Jenny. Yes, mugs can be great sellers. Um, and you know, it's kind of like art or anything, really. They'd sit a while sometimes waiting for the right person. Um, I really want to know more about the brand because when you type in Studio Pottery Face Mugs you, or Ugly Face, um, I know that's a popular thing, so many come up. And yeah, I couldn't find one like this. So anyways, I'm confident that will sell once we have a little more information. 
Now, this is another Bolo brand, and we got it yesterday for 95 cents at Thrift Giant. This is Hasami Porcelain Japan. I mean, I think many people would look past this. It's very plain looking. It feels good quality, um, very rough, almost like a bisque. I guess that's my word of the day, bisque. Um, <laughs> but when I looked up Hasami, I saw all of these Apple brand mugs. Not Apple brand. Yeah, like the, the tech company Apple. They had a lot of Apple mugs that were going for $75, $80, $65. But they also make plain things like this. And I am confident this can go for about $20 plus shipping. So that's awesome. And I love finding out new brands. So Hasami Porcelain, look out for that. And all of them have a stamp that looks just like that. So pretty cool to learn a new brand. This, of course, is a brand many people know, Francoma. I find a lot of these in the Dallas area because we're close to Oklahoma where Francoma was manufactured or created. Um, this, I think, is a barrel mug. And they have you know, you can find out a lot of it on replacements.com. Yes, Jenny, I was about to mention that. Oh, you're in Oklahoma. I forgot about that. I agree, Jenny. So, so Francoma, I think, does sell well and often, but it just depends on how much. For me, if I get Francoma for a dollar, that's good because it can probably sell for about 10. But yeah, all of the, oh, wagon wheel. You might be right, Jenny. I totally remember that keyword now. Um, yeah, replacements.com, when we were listing a lot of Francoma, that really helped us with the colors and the patterns. But yes, Francoma, I agree. It's a brand to know about and a brand to do research on, but sometimes it doesn't sell well. But for a dollar, I didn't want to pass that up. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, we've sold some, like, good Francoma, and then we've had Francoma that have sat for a long time. So I totally get that. This is from 20... Oh, sorry, 2008. Images from Shopping with Mother from Ladybird... Lady... <laughs> Ladybird Books. Sorry, that's hard to say. I am not drinking yet. Uh, I just love it. Super cute. I saw that it comes in this cute little box. And usually when I see things that are listed primarily in the UK, I'll grab it because that means someone who wants it here might want it. So it says, what a lot of shopping we have done. Amen, sister. So yeah. Anyways, you know what, Jenny? I don't know. I don't think it is. Because, uh, Matthew was like, are you sure it's not Ladybug? Because look, there's a Ladybug right there. And I said, no, it's Ladybird. And I said, well, there's Ladybird Johnson. And the only other Ladybird I know is from King of the Hill. I think the dog's name is Ladybird. <laughs> um, but anyways, I thought that was cool for about a dollar. I think it could go for about 15 to 20 plus shipping. And yeah, here is another little plush for 41 cents I got for the dogs. It's so cute. Uh, I almost don't want to give it to the dogs. <laughs> it also looks like this one Pokemon that I know. I think it's called Burmy. But um, yeah, someone made that so cute for 41 cents. And it probably will end up being a dog toy. Like I said, they just love these little crocheted dolls. And I think they're fun as a weird kind of repurpose. You know, it is kind of sad that someone made it and gave it away. But it is very popular. And I'm like, well... My dogs are enjoying it, and if if they didn't like it, then, you know, they didn't have to donate it. Oh, you have a multiple or multiple multiples. That's <laughs> multiple multiple. <laughs> That's like a tongue twister, multiple multiple. Anyways, uh, this I saw at the checkout on the counter, like someone didn't want it anymore, at Thrift Giant for $1.99. And first of all, I'm like, ooh, Wedgwood. You know, that can either be really good or common. And it's the cuckoo or cuckoo uh, pattern, cuckoo. And it goes for a lot of money, y'all. Look out for this pattern. It is, it's kind of, I don't know, it looks very popular. And, um, oh, there's the cuckoo, cuckoo. 
I'm going cuckoo for cuckoo. Um, yes, Jenny, uh, the tiki mugs go for a lot of money, the war god. That's so funny you mentioned that because I'm like, one of these days, I'm going to go to an estate sale or a thrift store since Francoma is so close and I'm going to find it, but still haven't. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to find one of those. It's a lot of people's holy grails in the tiki world. Oh, you have two Maltapoos. What are their names? Um, yeah, so there we go. This is a salad plate, and I think it can confidently go for $15. So for two bucks, not bad. And uh, a lot of people sell like different place settings of it. Someone sold like 11 of these plates for 160 bucks. I saw someone sold eight dinner plates for $240. I mean, that's $30 a dinner plate. That is extravagant. Um, and we sell a lot of plates. I've kind of stopped or I've slowed down buying plates because Matthew, <laughs> it's one of those things. He's like, more plates, more mugs. Yeah, I needed to calm it down on those. Here is one of my favorite finds on this table. Uh, someone recently, oh, it was Becky on Thrifty Business this past Thursday. She mentioned Ikea lamps, and here is one I got recently. Isn't it cool? It reminds me of the Fire King uh, Kimberly mugs with this, like, really weird tessellated-looking shape. <laughs> or it's like a tube, and at first I thought something was missing, but it's not. It's just a tube of glass, and y'all... I saw a blue one, either it was blue or black, go for $99 plus shipping on Terra Peak. I got it for, oh man, I know it was less than $10. Oh, $4.99. I got it for $4.99 and at Thrift Giant. I think it's beautiful and it's, aw, oh, Max and Blade, so cute. Uh, yeah, I just love the color of it. It's very kitschy looking uh, and yeah. I love it too, Andrew. I think it could go for $100. That's where we're going to start it at. Oh, you were? Great minds think alike. If y'all haven't followed my brother, he has a YouTube channel as well called Nick Knack Twin. Um, and he does lots of thrift hauls. And we're just a thrifting type of family. So yeah, love Ikea lamps. $5 is a steal. And, you know, they didn't have an outlet to check. Um, thanks, Swoop. I, I think so too. And uh, we might keep it for a while, but, you know, I'm thinking we should list higher, like 120 because there's none of this color uh, online right now. So that's awesome. We have slowed down on the games and puzzles, but when I see something sealed and one that I've never seen before, I definitely look it up. This is Side Quest, and it sells consistently between 20 and 30 uh, plus shipping, and some people don't include shipping. But yeah, it was two oh nine because of my discount. So yeah, that is a great flip. And yeah, I had to grab it, especially because it was sealed. Because um, board games can be tricky, you know. In order to really photograph them, you set it up. you got to make sure all the pieces are there. It's so easy when a puzzle is sealed. But anyways, I've talked about puzzles a lot in our other videos. They were a hit during quarantine. Oh, uh, thank you guys for the thumbs up. 11, that's a lot for me. <laughs> thank you guys for the support and tuning in. I have a few more items. Uh, this was one of my favorites. This is Pom Pom Purin. This is from the Sanrio Company. He's this dog with a little heart and a beret. Y'all, this was 97 cents. I knew to grab it right away. Oh, would you look at that little star? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot that was there. Even though I laughed about it yesterday, it was still a surprise. Uh, yeah, Pom Pom Purin, what a cute name. He consistently sells for 25 to 40 Y'all, we love plush. If y'all haven't seen, we have a lot of plush hauls. There is serious money to be made with plush. And eventually, just like... My friend Jason with CDs, once you are an expert at something, and by no means are we experts, but what I'm trying to say is when you are flipping through a huge tub of plush, there are so many that you know to skip because you have looked them up before, you've looked them up two or three times, you've heard through word of mouth and other YouTube videos just which ones to skip and which ones kind of 
jump at you. And right away, I knew this was, <laughs> right away, I knew this was uh, Sanrio. So yeah, super cute. Uh, this was another thing from that estate sale. Uh, I had Matthew get it for me. It was $6, I believe. It is a vintage Kahlua bottle. And I was going to get it to sell, but it actually doesn't go for much. And that's a disappointing about liquor bottles sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's for me. Kahlua is used in some tiki drinks. It's just a classic liqueur that I love. Yes, Jenny, me too. There are so many plush collectors, and it's like just as hot as ever. Like even adults collect plush. Um, yes, I find a lot of things on YouTube, Tina, as well. Um, I just love how people share, you know, what things uh, to look for. And that's why I enjoy making these thrift videos so much because I've learned from so many people. And it makes going to the thrift store even more fun because there's some, you know, videos where I learn three, four, five different items to look out for the next time I'm thrifting. Um, which is why I like to throw a diverse amount of stuff because, you know, everybody likes certain things. So I wanted to include some mugs, some glassware, a lamp. I wanted to show some linens, some ornaments. And I don't know, I like to be eclectic in the thrift hall so that, you know, if you're not interested in plush, then there's other things for you to find. Um, this is Fitz and Floyd. Always look Fitz and Floyd up. You know, some are better than others. There's only one listed, and it doesn't have the box. I got this for $3, and I'm going to list it for $25. And um, fun fact, Fitz and Floyd had a factory or a warehouse in Louisville, Texas, where I was born and raised. And, man, I would have loved to go there, but it's not there anymore. So, yeah. Oh, yes, plush bundles. Great idea. Oh, folks use them for their crane machines. I never thought about that as crane prizes. Um, but yes, we have thought of lotting up different plush. Um, and like I said, I also give them to my students. So yeah, this is worth about $25 plus or minus shipping. So we'll see. I like how it has the box. I especially look it up if it has the box. Now, this is an artist. I always want to feature... A piece of art if I can because I always look for art. This is called Gamecocks in Training by Danny Davis. Now I'll just scan so you can look at it. I really like the art style even though I'm not into sports. It has little chickens and a rooster but the thing that made me look it up was it had his penciled in signature, Danny Davis. He is still making art, and he makes art for different college and professional football teams as well as other things. And the cool thing is, sorry, I'm holding this very awkwardly. Oh, no, my Fitz and Floyd, one second. I almost broke something else. Lord. I had this, um, ironically, it was going to be a gift, and it still will be, but I broke the frame if you weren't here at the beginning. <laughs> um, luckily, I didn't break it on camera. I have done that before on Pop Shop. Jenny, you lived in Carrollton? That is so cool, Jenny. We're from Louisville, and I have a family in Carrollton. That's so cool. Um, I think I knew that of one time. But yeah, there's a signature on the back. Um, yeah, so Jenny, that's one of the places I would have loved to go to now that I know about Fitz and Floyd. I had no idea about it when I was a child. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, this is some of his art is on eBay, but we're going to clean up the frame a little bit, and I would love to list it for about 65 to 80 bucks and see what happens. That is so cool. What a small world, Jenny. Um, so yeah, I always like to look up art if it's signed, and luckily I was able to tell what the signature was. Um, oh, Matthew's parents live in Grand Prairie, and I work in Dallas, so I know Oak Cliff very well. What a small world. Um, Last but not least, this is a bolo, y'all. Uh, Mr. Potato Head things go well. Wait a minute. Did that even make sense? What even came out of my mouth? No, I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, Mr. Potato Head different kits 
go for a lot of money. <laughs> That's, I feel like in my brain I was speaking another language. Um, but this is a Veggie Tales almost Mr. Potato Head thing called Mix Up Larry. Uh, I looked and everything is in this box. I actually got this a while ago and just haven't showed it yet. It was $4. Y'all, this can go for 70 bucks. So look up things like this. Toys are hot. I looked up this Melissa and Doug little ice cream set and just the ice cream cones alone go for like 20, but it was missing some parts. Um, sorry, that was random, but not really. Just telling you, look up these toy items because $70 for this, I never would have known. Um, I, I knew to scan it. I, yeah, it had a barcode. I knew to scan it and I was expecting maybe 20 or like 30, but 70, that's crazy. A lot of people didn't have the box and a lot of people were selling out for parts, just like board games and yeah, toys, you can piece them out for parts and Lego. Um, so yeah, really cool. I mean, even if that went for 50, I'd be a very happy camper. Oh, and I almost forgot this. I absolutely love this. This was World Market. I got it at St. Vincent's. It's this little sardine dish. Now, I thought it was supposed to have a lid, but it doesn't. All the ones I've seen online do not have a lid. So it was 83 cents with my 40% out dis discount. Norwegian sardines in tomato sauce. And I'm so sorry I didn't take off the tag. Ooh, it goes very well with this little sardine puzzle. I just love collecting quirky things. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this live thrift haul slash estate sale haul. Thank you everybody who tuned in live. That really means a lot to me. We're trying to grow our channel and to see that people are tuning in and giving us thumbs up and talking about these items and sharing your tips with me really means a lot. So thank you everybody. And if you're watching after the fact, let us know if you're interested in the items. And if you are interested in more content like this, we show a lot of different thrift hauls in this video. Thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful Saturday. Keep digging for treasure because you won't find it if you don't look. And now I have to put all this beep away. I'll wait till Matthew gets home and he can do it. <laughs> Thanks everybody for tuning in. Bye.